I opened the letter and it was something along the lines of, how dare you bring a child into this world at your age? It can hit you in a place that that um, where you're the most vulnerable. I feel like that's like the kind of cruelty. Yeah. Hoda Codby opens up about getting mom shamed for having kids at an older age. I guess when you know what's real and you know what isn't, who cares, right? Well, the Today anchor shares a moment about getting negative comments that actually hurt her feelings, and it involves becoming a mom in her early 50s. I got a letter that was addressed to me in somebody's handwriting to my house. I opened the letter and it was something along the lines of, how dare you bring a child into this world at your age? Don't you know what you're doing to that child? Like it went on and on and I was, I was like, I took my breath away because that actually was my ouch. Yeah. I was scared. Yeah. Like, is this something that, um, that is smart for me to do. Hoda shares two children with her ex, Joel Schiffman. The former couple adopted daughter Haley in 2017 after Hoda's 2007 battle with breast cancer left her unable to conceive. That little girl, Haley Joy. Yes. I'm crying. I'm crying. She's I'm crying. Um, is my daughter. She is the love of my life. For me, I always had this thing inside me that just like, it was a voice I couldn't quiet. It was a voice that wanted to be a mom but thought it was too late. It was that voice. And I think, you know, you can push a voice like that away for a long time, but sooner or later it comes back up and you have to address it. Fast forward two years, Hoda dropped another surprise on her Today co-anchors when she and Joel adopted a second daughter, Hope. It's a girl. <laughs> We like the idea of, of Haley have a sibling because she has such interesting circumstances to grow up in anyway, so it would be nice to be able to share it with somebody. So how does Hoda deal with hate when it comes to being a mom? Well, she's turning to her own upbringing to look at the positive. When I was feeling terrible, because I did, I was, my dad passed when I was in college. And I remember thinking, we have our parents for a period of time. I know the foundation he left. Mm. I know it was worth every second of that time. So I thought about that too. I sort of thought I had missed my window. And I think a lot of women might feel this way. It's sort of like you get busy with work then you, you're in a marriage that maybe doesn't work. Then I had an illness. And then I looked at my life and said like, what happened? Like I missed it. And then I started to do that thing that I think women do and we all do. It's like, you know what? I don't get everything and I'm happy. I'm gonna keep what I have and say, I'm, say thank you God for this. And you can only, I think, push feelings down so long before you just can't. And one day you say, you know what, I'm gonna try, like, why not me? And I think, you know, for any of us, your timing's right because it's for you. 